going on everybody see here welcome back to some more satisfactory so last episode we worked on our factory worked on our building we got a new floor laid out because we're gonna start manufacturing stuff we're gonna start the manufacturing process it's gonna happen it's gonna be a thing i'm super excited hopefully you are as well now what's gonna happen this episode so remember last episode when i was like oh we're gonna work on this storage thing eventually well we're gonna do that right now because i feel like it would actually be kind of handy and like i said we are only going to do it for manual storage. Basically, when my inventory is full, I'm just going to throw stuff into a box and just let it sort it out. Then we can grab what we need. Uh, so on and so forth that way, because I don't want to try hooking up every single machine to this thing, because it's just like, I just don't feel like I need that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, we're going to work on the Hall of Things. Welcome to the Hall of Things. That's what it's going to say. So what we're going to need for this is um, a bunch. We are going to need a bunch of containers. And then... What we're also gonna need are smart splitters. And guess what I have done? I have finished the smart splitter research. I know, my goodness, what is this one? Programmable splitter. I think that's the one that it can say like other stuff. Anyways, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna need a bunch of those, but we're gonna need a lot of organization. So how many different items do we have like roughly? And we're gonna like, I'm gonna try to make some stuff. Let's see how many items we have. Wait, before we go any further, I have to say a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video. Ridge Wallet has redefined the wallet. With its ultra compact frame and small form factor, it helps you keep your wallet bulged down while also giving you the protection of RFID blocking plates that protect you from digital pickpocketers. There's over 30 different colors and styles to choose from, including a burnt titanium, carbon fiber, and my personal favorite, the forged ember. It's a black and red, beautiful. Oh, it just looks so good. It looks so good. And Ridge Wallet is so confident that you will love your wallet that you can test drive it for 45 days. And if you don't like it at the end of the 45 days, you can send it back for a full refund, no questions asked. So head on over to ridge.com slash Z1Gaming. That's ridge.com slash Z1Gaming. Use code Z1Gaming at checkout. And until December 7th, get 15% off of your order and free worldwide shipping. So thank you again, Ridge Wallet, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. So I currently have 32 things that i can make so let's do this let's grab our organization um let's see pipes and beams let's go grab a bunch of those and i'm gonna play with a layout of this and kind of see how we want things you know what i mean so maybe maybe 50 should we because we have like 24 items now maybe we should set up for like a, a row of 50 i don't know um uh, but anyways let's go ahead and let's grab some of these let's expand this out oh we are not zooping that is not okay So let's go ahead and let's get this out to here. We have quite a bit of room to play with here, but I do want to keep things symmetrical because like, you know, we always need things symmetrical. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to, we're going to start hitting rocks like right here. So if we wanted to keep things symmetrical, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need, now another thing, hold on. I know I was just like in the middle of a, a different thought. But if we're going to keep things symmetrical, we're going to need inputs and outputs. Now, I was kind of thinking it'd be kind of cool to have the belts going right overhead so you could see. And we don't really need the output to be facing us because we can just click on here and, you know, get what we need to do. So I think we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and let's uh, start off with a center one here. Like that. Now, we should be good on the rocks there. We should be good here. So, we roughly need... How many do we want to do here? You know what? I'm just going to set some of these out, and we'll figure this out. Okay, so we have 15. We have 15 total. Hmm. Okay, so this is 50. We have 50 storage containers right here. That should be enough. <laughs> that should be enough. So the idea here is that we're going to have a storage container right here that we are going to throw stuff into. So we come in here, we drop our inventory, and then it's going to shoot out and then sort. So what we need to do, and then what we also need to do, we actually need to get a resource sink in here. Um, I don't know that that'll actually fit in here, to be completely honest, though. So special, awesome sink. Ooh, yeah, yeah see, that's not going to fit. Uh, we might have to have that. Hmm. What's right down here? Do we have room? <gasps> oh, we do have room down below. So we could throw a resource sink into there. 
which would then stop uh, everything from filling up. So let's do that. Let's go and grab some walls. Um, nothing super crazy. Let's see. We're probably going to have to have it like this wide. And I think it's four tall, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so let's see. Special awesome sink. Overlapping. How does that look? Is that just going to peek out right there? Oh, that actually doesn't look too bad. Um, You know what? Let's do this. If we're going to have it peek out at all, let's actually bring it up a floor. Uh, foundations. Let's go up here. And let's kind of see what it looks like now. Let's see. I want this like roughly centered. Is that roughly centered? Hmm. can take it over one more. Okay, that looks pretty good. I like that. I like that. That'll work. So what we'll do is we will end up running the overflow down into this guy. So we'll probably come out down uh, some somehow like that. We'll figure that out. Uh, but now, let's see. Actually, we have catwalks, right? Where's our... So we have these catwalks. Um... We kind of need catwalks like all the way around this thing, in all honesty. So like, if we did that, like that works, but then this side is kind of open. So let's do this. Let's get these all filled in here. Let's make this work. This kind of looks neat. I like it. Okay, so there's our little catwalk deal. Uh, You know what? Should we take this one out and make it... Hmm, see that affected like... One full foundation over here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one and let's make it a catwalk all the way around. I'm trying to make this look the same. It kind it doesn't really look the same because of how this is laid out. How this pokes out like more kind of one side than the other, but actually we could fix that. There we go. Now it's equal on both sides. You can look down, you can see the awesome sink and all its awesomeness, and you still have access to all the things. Awesome. Okay. So now we need to run the belt and connect up all of these. I'm going to need a lot of smart splitters, but I want to run the belt first and then connect to smart splitters after that. Now, ideally, what I would like to do is I'd like to use conveyor lifts. Ooh. That should actually work. All right. So here's kind of how my conveyor is. And it seems to work out pretty good. Works out pretty clean. It looks nice. This is not a smart splitter, so I have to do that. Now, the way that I could make this a little bit more efficient is if I had something on this side going out. But unless they're going to be, like, right next to each other, I don't really want to run a conveyor belt, like, say, from here all the way to there. You know what I mean? I don't know if I really like that. And then that's also going to be in the way of all these ones over here. So I think we're just going to bring the belt all the way. It's going to loop around, essentially. And we're going to have a smart splitter on every single one of these. It's going to be a lot, but it'll work. It should work. <gasps> Ooh, actually. It might be a little tricky right here on this. Actually, you know what? Smart splitter right here. Coming in, everything come in, everything go out. Smart split, smart split. And then that should work. But the problem is that this isn't going to work. Those are going to overlap, I think. Hold on. Let's see. Okay. Come here, lift mark three. Come here, lift mark three. Yeah, that's not going to work. So basically, I would have to get rid of this one. And then... Oh, darn. So actually, if I got rid of these corner ones, let's see. If I did that, though, that's two, four, six, eight. That would only give us 42 storage slots. That might be enough. That might be enough. We might be able, we might be able to deal with that. So let me do that. Let me get rid of these two corner ones. These are a little too close. And then 42 storage things. That should probably work. So now let's see here. If we do it that way, we do it this way. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be quite interesting. 
Okay, so whilst I was doing that, I was trying to figure out, I'm trying to figure out how to get nice clean corners, get everything fixed the right way. So basically what I did, I took this down. Uh, I put the conveyor on here, and I'm just going to show you on this side. In order to get these things lined up. Um, so I put the conveyor basically right here. We flipped it around. And we're going to go ahead and get four of these guys. And we need to put these in a spot where they're not going to get in the way. Actually, we could always deconstruct them. So it's not that huge of a deal. And then basically I ran this straight out here into that. And then we, that's just to give me like the right spot to place conveyor belts. Um, and then I need to do the same thing basically all the way down. But then what we're going to do is we're going to get a smart splitter, put it here, line it up and then deconstruct that and then go off of this one and then bring it that way. Smart splitter in boom. That's kind of how we're going to do it. So let me go get the stuff for the smart splitter so we can actually see it happening. And then also, I think these stairs are going to get adjusted a little bit. I think we're actually going to put stairs in. Um, so we'll see. Okay, so now I have smart splitter. So now we can actually get this actually kind of going here. So basically, that snaps to there. Lines up. We delete. Oh, actually, no. That one can stay like it was. That one goes there. And then we grab this guy. Boom, boom. Grab a smart splitter onto this guy. Ooh, this needs to be going the other way. Okay, so what we're going to have to do, let's do this. Let's do this. Grab that. Run this the other direction. That'll give us the right direction on the belt. I know there's probably a key to switch belt direction, but you know me. Um, okay, that's conveyor splitter. Smart splitter. Here, there. That is not the right input. The input actually has to be going from this way over here. So let's do this. Grab this section. Bring this out, connect there. Oh, that is so much easier. Grab this, get rid of these, and then put an elevator on this one. Ah, oh, this is much easier. Here we go. Much, much easier. Much less complicated. Okay, so we'll do that one. Smart splitter there. And we'll run it all the way down here. I like a soap. Is that going to reach? That's too far. Okay, so we're going to have to have some poles somewhere. So where do I want the poles at? Probably. You know what? It doesn't matter because we'll delete them later. <laughs> we'll just delete them later. Okay, so there's those. Let's go ahead and delete these. We don't need conveyor poles. No. No need for conveyor poles whatsoever. We'll grab this guy, throw that in there, and grab our smart splitter. This guy. Oh, it doesn't want to line it up. Of course. Sometimes this game doesn't want to snap the... You know what I mean? I think that's as good as it's going to get. And then we got to do the same thing on this end. I think this one will reach. Heck yeah, it will. Smart splitter. Oh, come... Oh, that one clicked. Okay. Okay. So that should, in theory, work and everything should be lined up. Um, like I said, this is going to get moved because it's going to be in the way. So that's going to go into here. This is going to split off. It's going to go into there. Then there's going to be an output. It's going to go into there. Okay. I think and we should be able to configure them from here. So left, center, right, any. And we just need to make sure that we are always on the input side because... Left, center, right. Make sure we're doing this correctly. Okay. Oh, that is exciting stuff. So now we need to figure out the input on this. So let's do this. Let's grab conveyor lift mark three, this guy. Bring that into there. Conveyor lift mark three. Bring that into there. Let's go ahead and connect those. Oh, they're not lined up. Well, poop. We could actually move this over so they're lined up. Let's do that. Let's move it over and we'll line it up. Okay, so I actually need to bring this belt over here. We need to connect it back up to this guy. So that would be a full circle. So now we need to put uh we need the input to be here and I need a 
break to be like right here. Okay, so we'll do that. That'll be our final break. And then smart split from here. Um, This way. Or it's not going to snap this time because it's like kind of complicated now. So smart split that way. And then this one there to there. Okay, so that should. Oh, oh, oh. that should work. Let's go ahead and that should work. So in here, splits off this way. It's going to hit all those. This way, this way, that way, this way. And then overflow will go. Uh, let's actually go ahead and get a conveyor thing in here. Grab this guy. Click that onto there. And then we need overflow to go down. Um, this, these platforms might get moved. And then that's going to wrap around into the front of that guy. Okay. So that's how that's going to work. Um, let's just go ahead and, you know, what? let's get this connected. If we don't connect this now, I'll forget to connect it later. Okay. So that's connected up. That will work. And then, I mean, you know what? I guess we can leave this like this. Because it doesn't look like it's overlapping right now. However, when the items are actually going through it, it is going to be clipping a little bit. But that should work. All right, let's get everything hooked up here. Okay, so all of the elevators are in. <laughs> this is going to look crazy. <gasps> oh, I love it. Talk about the Hall of Things. Um. All right, now we need to just go through. And I need to get all of these things connected here. All right, they're all hooked up. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is the Hall of Things right here. So, you know, I was actually kind of thinking we really could feed the whole factory into this room because what we could do is we could set an overflow system up for everything and have an overflow uh, hub built and then have all the overflow items go through here. They would go through all of these and once they got full, they would just go to the resource sink anyways. So we could, in theory, have an overflow for everything. And I believe now that the smart splitters have overflow. So like that would really actually work. That would actually work. So um, that might be something we do in the future. I'm not gonna do that yet because we're still have like a lot of things to make. We have a lot of factory stuff to make. Um, and then once we get everything automated, we can kind of figure out like how things are actually working here. So that is looking wonderful. I'm loving it. Uh, we need to get away out of here. So I'm thinking, uh, we could hypertube this bad boy. Hmm. Or we could just use like catwalk stairs, which I really like the catwalk stairs. I think those look cool. Okay, so that's not gonna really work there. Um, let's grab catwalk stairs from maybe right here down. Something like that. Get rid of this floor. Add that floor back in. And then we have ooh. I don't like that. Can we go from the top of this floor? There we go. Wait, those aren't the right ones. I want stairs. So then we can go down here, pop down, pop back up. Shouldn't get caught. Oh, wonderful. And then because this is a safety hazard, we can't have it like this. We, we have to have, uh, we've got to have the railings. Yeah, there we go. See, that looks good. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely, magnificently, marvelously amazing. Okay. And then we need to fill this room in, make sure some walls are in here. And I got to go through and program every single thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the front right here with probably some common items that we're always going to need. Uh, and then we're going to go from there. So I'm just going to start this. Actually, what I need to do is I need to have the center hmm i guess is the center going to be overflow on everything because if we have hold on so if we have the center input um any but then we have right input any undefined 
overflow. That means it's only going to go out if it's full. But if I have any on here... So, like, say we have the center as any, and then the right as, like, you know, a Caterium ingot. Does that mean when this gets full, the Caterium ingot will still go through? Or does that mean that if it goes... If the Caterium ingot gets full, then it won't go through because it's identified, but then we have to have overflow. I think we need the center to be overflow on every one of these. Because I think we ran into this issue last time, whereas if I split it one way and I had like any on the other one, it wouldn't work. Unless there was any undefined. You know what? We need a test. I need to test this and figure this out because I need to know how this is going to function before we do this. Okay, so let me go see what item we have a lot of that we can test this with. Okay, we're going to test this with concrete. Because I have a bunch of concrete. So, I want the right to be concrete. Center can be any, and left can be any. So, I'm going to start loading up concrete in here. And I want to see what happens. So, like, is that letting concrete... Oh, yes. Okay, so what if I do overflow? And then if I take this, it's gonna keep. Okay, so we have to over. We have to have it overflow. So, overflow. So that would make it so that the concrete will only go here. And then, well, the center right here, in theory, this would be a corner, anyways. So the center would be like an item. So let's just put a cable in there like that and then let me throw this concrete back in here and you know what let's do this let's grab this I just want to have this temporarily here for now can you why can't you go oh it's because I don't have any concrete oh my gosh what is this oh, it's not facing the right way Okay, so there's that. Let's throw the concrete back in here. And then this one was, what, cable? Let me go grab a cable. Okay, so I'm going to drop... Let's drop um, that there. It always goes from the bottom top, bottom to the top. So let's drop that there. Let's drop that next. I want to make sure this is going to work. We should see the cable then go that way because it's overflow hmm okay so cable should be coming out soon we got like a hundred concrete left we should see it go boom this or no the cable's gonna go into here right and what if i threw another random item in after that let's throw rods in there so then rods should continue on Okay, there goes the cable. And then the rods go that way. Onward. Okay. So we need to have these as overflow. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, you know what? Hold on. Let me grab a bunch of these. And let me fill up this with concrete real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and put two stacks of concrete in there. Now, that's going to fill up. That's going to stop. And then... It's not overflowing. Oh, it's because it's not full yet. Okay, so let's get this thing full. Hmm. And then I want to make sure that it continues on this way once it's full that way it's not going to hold up the line hold up the line don't you do it <laughs> oh my gosh this thing takes forever come on we've got to be almost to 500 jeez louise okay so this is about full so now we should see it go boop and it should go that way 
Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So that will work. And the reason that it needs to be overflow is because there's already something defined here. And we can't have it as any because then concrete would just split off and go this way anyways. Okay. So now we know how we need to set it up. So basically I need to go through and I need to place it so that overflow, I need to place all the overflows. Let me go through and place all of the overflows first. Okay, so all the overflows have been set. So now, now we need to go through and actually set each item. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be the funnest part I've ever had and ever done. It's just gonna be the best thing ever. Okay, so. Basically, what I need to do is I just need to start picking parts and like just figuring out what I have an idea that I'm going to need. And then we have to figure out what we did and did not do. Oh, this is always so much fun. Okay, so you, I, I, <laughs> I decided that maybe before we start setting stuff into the awesome sink, maybe we should, um, maybe we should first, uh, floor too steep. What? Maybe we should first run it into a, uh, a storage thing so I can make sure that I've actually got everything under control. So we're going to do that. Um, I think I got a lot of stuff, I think. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. What in here did I not account for? I think I counted for all of this. Did I do AI limiters? I don't know if I did AI limiters. So... We're going to go ahead. I'm just going to store all and we're going to let these kind of run through and then we'll see what makes it through and what I did not. Oh, shoot. I need you to stop because I just realized that I select um, any on all of the other ones. Which means that that is not going to work. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to do none on all of the ones that I did not do. So that way we can go through and change it to whatever it might be. Okay, so all the ones I'm not using, I put none, none, and then overflow. That way nothing tries to go to the other sides, if that makes sense. So we should be good. Let's go ahead and let's hook this back up. Um, the There's concrete in here that's not gonna go in here. So we're gonna put that back into here, store all. So unless I have it marked, Nothing should make it all the way through. So now I can go ahead and I can start dumping my inventory. <laughs> all of these inventories over here. I can start dumping those into there and get some things sorted up. Um, now, tickets. You know, I should set up one as a ticket thing just in case I accidentally throw a ticket in there. And then it would just disappear forever. And I'm pretty sure I never used this last one. So center right. Um, what? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, is the awesome shop ticket not in here? Hmm. That scares me a little bit. <laughs> that does scare me a little bit. So concrete is going into here. Okay, cool. Yeah, that does scare me a little bit. Oh, no. I just realized you're going to be able to see this from here. <laughs> oh... Well, I guess it is what it is. Yeah, we'll just leave it there for now. I'm not about to move all that stuff. Oh, no, thank you. No, 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 thank you. Okay, so now I want to see... Oh, I can't place it down in front of it. Oh, I need rods in order to do that. It's so, like we could place a sign like this. I was kind of hoping I could place it like right over this hole right here. Um, can't place it literally anywhere right there. So it looks like they're going to be like sitting right here in front of these like that. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Do I have any rods in here? Yes, I do. Perfect. Let's go ahead and let's get signs in front of all of these. And now we have signs on everyone. So I didn't realize with these little guys when you place them. You can actually, you click it once, and then you can actually raise and lower the signs. So I actually raised the sign, so it's roughly centered over all of these. 
Now, obviously, that's not what's in all of them. Uh, we have to go through and change it, but that's going to be super nice to be able to see everything and have everything going. Oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So I want to go through. I want to throw uh, I want to throw some walls up, get this all enclosed, make it look fancy and maybe get some lights in here. And then, yeah, we're going to haul. We're going to this is such a wonderful haul of things. Okay, so we got walls in here, except for one spot. There's one spot I cannot get walls. Um, and then what I decided to do is I did decide to encase this completely in glass foundations. I think it looks okay. I don't know. This might change, but I could not get walls to place right here behind these storage things. So it's kind of why I went with the glass because you can kind of hide the, uh, <laughs> it's like, well, that's not quite right. The other ones you could like, you could see right through and be like, well, this isn't finished. Uh, but I did glass everywhere here to hopefully, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> um... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see. Wait, you, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Now, uh, this is still going. I forgot how absolutely awfully slow this is. And I do remember why I had multiples of these containers. That way, when we wanted to dump our inventory, we could just dump it and just uh, basically let it go. I did use Mark III belts everywhere I could. And then what do we have in here? Okay, so we're getting uh, some stuff. So I think what we're going to do is I think this is going to be a catch. And then when this is full, we'll put it into another container that will then send it to this guy because I know that I am accidentally going to put something through somewhere <laughs> and I'm going to lose it. But if I if I have like, a, you know, an accidental catch system like this, then hopefully it'll be OK. So let me get that set up real fast. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and delete this belt, turn it off for a second, let it run through, let it stop getting stuff in here and then... Uh, yeah here we go so this is our main input i'm gonna put signs on it this is our oopsies and then this is the yes i'm sure destroy it kind of chamber so we're gonna get this hooked up as well um i'd love to get uh uh we're going to go down here and do this i want to redo this i actually want to send up an elevator right through here if i can actually yeah okay so we connect up to there to there that's the finish it chamber perfect okay so it goes boom right into there and you know what it looks like it's going through the floor so it looks fantastic i love it let me get some more uh let's get some more organization in here we need more screens to tell us everything all right so i went through i put lights in uh looks pretty good i got some things kind of getting marked here I'm basically just marking things as they're filling up the storage. So that way I kind of know like what I've already done. And then I can go back through and then figure out like my uh, my stuff here. So as you can see, we have signs, auto sort input, the leftovers and ticket transmogrification. Because, yes, everybody needs ticket transmogrification. <laughs> so there is our hall of things. We've done it. Um, I could add some more like decorative stuff ish, but I don't really know what I want to do here. So I think this is going to work for now. Um, I do have to get this light hooked up. I'm trying to figure out how to like wire it without making wires go everywhere. Um, and then in these corners here, I don't know. I'd like to have something, but I just, I don't exactly know what yet. So here it is our hall of storage our hall of things. It is amazing, but that is going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like on this video and please consider subscribing if you think I've earned it. But yes, thank you again. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.